We made it to Lake Louise. My original intention was to take some landscape photos of this iconic Canadian location. But then something creepy happened. This was one of the most tourist heavy locations on our journey. There's actually a lot of people here. And, and but you can't tell from this framing. So good job for us. We actually made it look empty. So job well done. Wait, is, is that is that wine? It's very touristy here, as you can see. Busy, busy. Was it worth it? Let's hope the photos turned out. Let's jump into Lightroom. First thing we want to do is to straighten out this picture, and we could use that by just dragging on the horizon. Done. Pretty simple. Bam. Easy fix. Okay, I'm not going to go what each individual slider does, but basically I'm bringing down the whites and bringing up the shadows and blacks a little bit. And then over here, we're just going to play with a teal and blues to make the sky and the water be more prominent, you know? So there's the before and the after. And then we got to get rid of these little guys over here. There's way too many of them. So let's try to use Lightroom's native tools. That's what it automatically wants to do. That's not really... Nope. We're just going to use Photoshop. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. All we're going to do here is remove these little man on the canoes. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is I'm using the patch tool. You can press J to get to it. And then Photoshop just does, does the rest. It's kind of like a content aware kind of thing. So I'm gonna go really fast. I'm not gonna show you in real time how long this took. So let's just do it super fast. And removing people montage. This, this must have been what Thanos felt like. Just boop, boop, boop. You don't exist, you don't exist. You don't exist either. Let's just clear the lake altogether. It was a really busy day that day. It took us like a good hour in traffic just to get up that hill. It was like a one mile hill to get up to the hotel. And it took us a good hour to get to it. And then these guys are a little bit more tricky. So yeah, so we're just gonna use some Photoshop to make it look like we went on not as busy of a day. So look at that, clean, pristine Canadian lake. I'm going to add a curves layer here, darken it up, and basically going to do some dodging and burning in a weird way. So I'm going to apply the dark over everything and I'm just going to remove it. For example, the sky is going to be a little bit brighter, not as dark. And same with the mountains. I want to I want to preserve some of the shadows in the mountains. So I'm going to lighten them up a little bit. Is it only me or does that look like a skull right there? I totally see a skull. Look at that. See the eyes? Okay, I'm going to darken them up a bit so you can see it too if you don't see it already. Look at that cheekbone. Man, that is it's like Shao Kahn or something. What is that? It's totally a face. Is this a thing? Maybe it's a thing and I didn't know about it. Maybe it's like a Lake Louise skull. All right, I'm going to continue the dodging and burning with a lighter layer. And I'm just going to paint on with um, lighter. <laughs> So that's going to make it come out. It's going to make it mo more 3D, essentially. <laughs> that's totally a face. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you see it now? <laughs> Here's a before and after. Before, after. <laughs> it's totally a skull. Okay, it looks a bit stupid. So that's just um, going to make it look like a championship belt. <laughs> like WWF or something. Because we don't want just a boring touristy picture. We want some... Something dynamic and creepy. Little Easter egg. I don't think that's very hidden very well, though. <laughs> it's a bit too obvious. Okay, just dodge and burn across the whole photo. Even the clouds. And there's a before and after. Okay, there's no way you could ignore that. Before, there was all these people there. And the skull face. And bam! Look at that skull. That's crazy. <laughs> this is the original. This is the starting point. Man, you could totally still see the skull. This is before even editing. Starting point, end point. All right, let's 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 get to the bottom of this. 
It can't be only me. There's got to be a picture of it in someone else's picture. I mean, it's the most touristy spot in the whole country, like in all of Canada. It's on all our postcards. They're all bad quality, though. You'd think there'd be more shots from that angle. I mean, it's the most popular angle to go. Oh, it's from a canoe, that's why. Maybe it was a forest fire thing or something unique just to this summer. You know what? Let's check Instagram. Hey, it's my Instagram. Lake Louise hashtag. All right, three quarters of a million. Okay. Let's see if anyone else sees the same thing that we saw. Okay, these are all winter, so that doesn't really help us. What I need right now is a picture from the summer from the super touristy location. I mean, there was so many people there. And that's just one day. There's literally millions of people that go there every summer. There's got to be another picture of it. That's pretty close, but that's far. It should it should be right there. Oh, there it is. Right there. There's a skull. It's it's not as clear because it's a far away angle, but you could definitely see the eyes. Has the skull always been there? Why is nobody mentioning it? It definitely was there. It existed. Am I the first to see the skull? Hold on. Let's let's just look it up. Lake Louise skull. Okay, that is not helping me. Skull in rock face. Nope, no mentions of it at all. Lake Louise face in rock face. I don't know, man. I don't see anything. Let's go back to Instagram. I need a detailed picture. Why doesn't anybody take a wide angle picture? There's a skull. Can you see it? Oh, eye, eye, nose, mouth, cheekbone, jaw. That's totally it right there. Yeah. I mean, it's in all of my pictures. Let's double check. Obviously, it's in this picture because I edited it. That's unedited picture right there. Okay. It's totally right there. Broad as daylight. Look how prominent it is right there. That is a stinking skull. There it is again. And again. It's been staring at us the whole time. These are unedited straight from the camera pictures. I did not draw that skull in, I swear. I was going to make a boring video about Lake Louise, but this, this skull is going to take over this entire video. <laughs> Okay, now you can definitely see it because I <laughs> dodged and burned the crap out of it. <laughs> All right, let's get back to Instagram. I need a picture of the skull, please. A picture of the skull from Lake Louise. There it is. Oh, that's totally a skull. Come on. That looks like the Punisher. That eye is like an alien eye. That's weird. Okay, that wasn't my picture. So we proved that this skull exists. Nah, it's too far away. The problem is, a lot of photographers try to get the shots from a different angle that's not as popular because it's good for their portfolio. They won't have the same picture as everyone else. But that's not good for me because I need a picture from the touristy location. But a lot of the touristy location pictures are very amateurish and low quality. Are we on a breakthrough here? Is the Lake Louise skull a thing? Or is it not a thing? I mean, we definitely saw it in other people's pictures. All I need to see is more Lake Louise pictures from where tourists take the picture. That shouldn't be so hard to find. Okay, in the snow, no. No, it's covered. You can't see anything. Oh, it's right there! Never mind! Look at that. It's like a brown face. It's totally a different color from its surroundings. Yeah, maybe like a piece of land fell off over the summer and that skull is exposed now. All right, we're done with this. Can you see it here? Wait, there's no lake house. Where is it? Is it? Oh, it's right there! That's totally a skull. Eye, eye, nose. There's the, there's the cheekbone and the jaw. I hope this YouTube compression doesn't kill this because I'm going to look crazy if you guys can't see what I'm seeing. Okay, so we just proved that it's not just my pictures. It definitely has existed in the past. Okay, you know what? Let's review our video footage. I wonder if we could see it. There it is. Enhance. Get the contrast up. And the shadows down, that's totally right there. Do you see it? Closer, closer. Bam! Skull face exists. Illuminati confirmed. Let's see if you could spot it in the original footage. So what do you think? Is this a thing? If it's not a thing, let's make it a thing. If you personally have a photo of Lake Louise, let us know if the skull made its appearance. Tag Lake Louise Skull on Instagram or Twitter if you come across it anywhere. Thanks for watching and subscribe for the rest of this journey and more tutorials. Bye-bye!